I think we've all been in a situation where we're expecting a loved one to, that we haven't seen in a long time, they live far away, and they're going to be arriving uh, on this particular day, and we're eager for, eager for them uh, to come so that we can see them, but at the same time, we have to go to work. And so while we're working and doing our job, we're kind of keeping one eye on the clock, waiting for the time to pass when we can see that dear loved one. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. It's a joy to be with you once again. Our title today is WWW. World Wide Web? No, not this time. No, it stands for Working, Watching, and Waiting. And uh, we have a verse in Titus that I want to share to start with, and it says this, to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age waiting for that our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great god and savior jesus christ i think we've all been in a situation where we're expecting a loved one to that we haven't seen in a long time they live far away and they're going to be arriving uh, on this particular day and we're eager for, eager for them uh, to come so that we can see them but at the same time we have to go to work and so while we're working and doing our job, we're kind of keeping one eye on the clock, waiting for the time to pass when we can see that dear loved one. Kind of reminds me when my daughter was uh, on her way uh, to be born, my wife and I that day were hanging wallpaper. <laughs> yes, we were hanging wallpaper. And while we were working, we were eager for our daughter to arrive. We were keeping track of the time between contractions so that we'd know when we just had to go to the hospital. Well, we made it on time, and uh, our daughter was born, and we were so blessed, and she has blessed us all our lives. Well, that's kind of like that when we're thinking about the Lord Jesus, isn't it? We are longing to see him face to face. But here we are in this world. He has left us with assignments, and he calls us to share the gospel with others because we want others to be saved he's not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and we have our part in that so we're to be sharing the gospel and we're to be caring for one another and loving one another and building one another up in our in our faith we have those assignments and they are important assignments he has left them for us to do and uh, so we have this uh, verse from Philippians that I want to share now, which is encouraging. But before I go there, let me go back and revisit the verse we had at the top, because it talks about our conduct while we're waiting. And this may be a challenge for, for you and for me, um, may perhaps several times a day. But it says to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. That can be a challenge but may it be so in our lives. Now the verse in Philippians, that's an encouragement, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation. Another translation uses the word perverse for twisted. And we see it, don't we, all around us. The perversion is spreading in our, in our, in our society like a cancer, and it's horrible. We see it. But we're to live at blameless and innocent, upright lives in the midst of all that, among whom it says, you shine as lights in this world. I love that. That encourages me. And I hope it encourages you. As we wait for our Lord Jesus, WWW, working, watching, waiting. Put it in any order you want. They're all three important. And so I hope there's been something, dear ones, that has touched your heart today. If so, praise God and uh, be about what he wants us to be doing. In the meantime, Lord willing, we'll see you down the line. So long.